and reacted to it. And we saw Thurman take out his mouthpiece, dropped it into his glove. Yeah, you usually don't do that. Unless it's a butt butt. Yeah, it's a body shot. Yeah. Okay. Well, you heard Dan Birmingham tell him you got to get him on the rope. So what we've been saying and advising, Dan Birmingham has been saying and advising, but Thurman has not been following the instructions completely. Let's see if he can do it this round. He's, Dan Birmingham was very adamant that he had to get him on the ropes and really do some damage. So let's see. This is round 11, scheduled for 12 in Las Vegas on pay-per-view. Thurman has landed more punches than Pacquiao, but how about the effectiveness of those punches, Lennox? Uh, well, I would say Pacquiao has more, two more effective punches. Pacquiao knocked down Thurman back in round one. Pacquiao's, two minutes remaining here in round 11. If you notice, Pacquiao's going with that left hand down to the rib cage. He's looking for that old uppercut right there. I think he knows he heard him there earlier uh, in that last round, and he's going back to it. Good left hook, right hand by Thurman. Good uppercut by Thurman. Yeah, but I, I, if we're talking about the punch stats, I think, without a doubt, Pacquiao's punches have been much more devastating and uh, debilitating. He's uh, drawn blood. He's doubled Thurman over. I think he's the harder puncher, no doubt. Yeah, the fact that Thurman got hurt in that last round, that's kind of slowed him down in this round. Oh, good, good right, right hand. hand by Thurman. Yeah, he stepped into it when he threw that right hand. Yes, he did. And now Pacquiao over to dance away. But he's got to capitalize on it. Now he's got to throw not only the right hand, but that left hook. Look at Pacquiao, he's, he's such a monster. He just comes right back. He takes whatever you give him. This is why he's one of the greatest. And Thurman's reacting to anything Pacquiao is throwing right now. So he, he's on the defensive mode, especially when Pacquiao throws punches. He's on a defensive mode. He's trying to get out of there. When he should be looking for a way back, he should be looking to answer the call. Throw a punch back. 30 seconds remaining in round 11. Oh, left by Pacquiao. Final seconds, round 11. You will see Thurman scoring with a great right hand straight through. This is when you throw a straight right hand. It goes straight to the target. And Pacquiao's face was right there. Now the only eight division champ in boxing history. This is the 12th and final round. The reason Birmingham said to Thurman let it all go because he knows he's not winning the fight. Even though he's been in the fight, he's had great moments in the fight. He just happens to be up one of the great legendary fighters of all time who at 40 years old can still deal with 30 year old champions that have never been beaten before. That being said, Birmingham knows that Keith Thurman needs a knockout to win this fight. I agree with that. Manny Pacquiao turned pro in January of 95. Keith Thurman was six years old. Pacquiao won his first title in 1998 in the flyweight division at the age of 19. Here he is 21 years later. He will turn 41 in December. See, Pacquiao's doing the right thing right now. He knows it's the last round. Why take that chance? Right. He should just move around and, or definitely be protected and protect himself and not get hit with no silly yeah. punches. It's not like he won't fight this round because he is fighting this round, but he's not going to try to go for a knockout because he doesn't need one. Usually, you know, in Keith Thurman's point of view, he's going to try to do it, but whether he's got enough gas in in, in the, the tank to be able to do it. Oh, good luck there by back down. We hit the midway point of round 12. The only knockdown came back in round one. Pacquiao knocking down Thurman late in the round. 
That's where Thurman should have gone to work right there. He let Pacquiao right back off the ropes. And even, if, even if Thurman wins this round, it's not going to win him the fight. He needs a knockout. Yeah, he does. Period. He's, he just absorbed too many, too much punishment in the earlier rounds. Let so, it all go. Those are the instructions from his trainer, Dan Birmingham, prior to this 12th round. He has 50 seconds left. He's whipping that right hand, Thurman, but, you know. But he shook that right hand, so he must have heard it as well. The thing is, Pacquiao's been able to absorb anything that Thurman's thrown and come right back at, at Thurman just as strong every time. Now to 25 seconds remaining. Oh. Got him with a right. Got to come back with that left hook. Back out through a right hook at the same time he got hit by that right hand. chin and Thurman went down that was Manny he was very fresh very accurate very powerful early on you can see the effects of Manny's punches right there with the blood on Thurman's face here comes and Thurman yes, yes Thurman throwing some good jabs good right hands that quick right hand was apparent through the whole fight by Thurman this is what you do against southpaws this is the last shot of Manny, catching Thurman, Thurman reacts. The 192 power punches landed by Thurman, most by a Pacquiao opponent. And four and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. We have a split decision. Here are the score totals. Judge ringside, Glenn Feldman scores about 114 to 113 in favor of Keith Thurman. Judge of ringside, Dave Moretti scores about 115-112 in favor of Manny Pacquiao. And judge at ringside, Tim Cheatham sees it 115 to 112 in favor of the winner. Boxing's pride to the Philippines. <laughs>